there's only two diets that you should be doing. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video with Train Aesthetic. And today we will, I want to talk about the only diets, perhaps there's only, there's only two diets that you should be doing. All right guys, so whatever diet you're on, you know, if it's eating a lot of rice, if it's eating this much, if it's eating, you know, whatever diet that you hear out there, you guys ever heard of like, you know, banana diets, fruit diets, low glycemic index diets where you eat no starchy white rice or there could be other stuff like, you know, fibrous diets where you eat all carbs. The keto diet, right? We eat all fats. Now, here's the thing about diets. A good diet should obviously have moderate protein, right? Because without protein, we're not able to grow muscle. Like, you just can't build muscle. That's the macro that builds muscle. And then, what we have to understand is that there's only two energy sources that our body actually produces to be utilized for energy. And obviously we have like the stuff like the anaerobic system where we use carbohydrates and the aerobic system when we use fats for fuel. But overall, there's only two stuff that we use for fuel. That's carbohydrates, right? And then the other one is fats, that's ketones. So with that said, right, on whatever diet that you're on, there's only there's basically two diets that you're doing. You're either doing a diet that is utilizing carbohydrates mainly for its main source of fuel, right? Like throughout the day or using fats like ketones. You're using ketones, you're using fats throughout the day to get through the day, to walk, to think, to do whatever you do, your job. Our two mains, like it's like the majority of the fuel source that you've utilized is that much and it's either carbs or it's either fats so with that said there's only two diets that really work a keto diet and a carbohydrate based diet and whatever diet you're on that's a very small category that broads to this it's either you're doing carbohydrates or keto 90 percent of them of you guys will be doing a carbohydrate based diet i think the only people that are able to optimize the other 10 percent that are able to optimize ketones right and do a keto diet it's people that are really really diet freaks like me like i've utilized keto for a long time and pretty much there's only two ways to do it you know and if you're doing a diet that does not eat a lot of protein then then what the heck right then that's basically if you're not into fitness and if you don't want to build muscle go for it do a diet that don't utilize as much protein very low protein like and also yeah, and then that's it. There's pretty much only two diets. You're either, whatever diet you're eating, you're either eating a lot of carbohydrates, right? You're eating a lot of carbs, or, you know, if you go other way, if you eat a lot of fats, but you don't eat any carbs at all, and then you're either eating in a carbohydrate utilization, aka glycolysis, right? There's a fancy word for it, glycolysis, or you're in fat adaptation, you're in keto utilization and uh, the fancy word for that is ketosis that's why we get the word keto because ketosis is when you use fats for energy that's where the name branch off that's where ketones branch off branch off from what else did i wanted to talk about there was also something i wanted to talk about uh it was what the hell was it now which one's better should you go on a carb diet or a keto diet you know First off is to realize that we only have two energy sources and our primary source of energy is carbohydrates. That's our first primary source, carbohydrates. And then when we get run out of carbohydrates, we go to our second source, which is fats. And rarely do we go to our third source, which is protein. If you tap into the third muscle part protein, then you're, you are not doing a great way of dieting. <laughs> but anyways, realize that are you eating more fats do you, do you feel better with eating more fats or are you feeling better by eating low fats and high carbs are you more of a low fat high carb type of guy or a lower carb high fat type of guy realize which one you you react better to right we perform better you feel better you get up you're like damn i feel great when i have a lot of fats and barely any carbs what the heck or 
the day where I had no carbohydrates, I just felt like hitting the wall, right? That's where, that's, that's a term for when you get depleted of carbohydrates, when you have zero carbs, when you hit the wall, right? You feel like you just collapsed. Realize which energy source is better and then utilize that as a preference and go towards it. So if you feel better with eating carbohydrates, go towards a more glycolysis type of diet, you know, and test it out too. Obviously, look at what you've been eating for the previous days. Realize that I'm not eating as much this and that, this and that. Just don't, you know, make assumptions that oh, I know for a fact that this is this, and but I've never tested it out. No, you have to realize what you've ate before, the days prior, and utilize that. That's why when tracking food and realizing how much macros you're eating comes into play. You're eating more fats or you're eating more carbs. And then, yeah, just go gun ho at it. If you feel better eating high carbs, go. The diet for you that should be working is a carbohydrate based diet. If you better, if you feel, if you guys feel better eating high fats, right? Give it a try. Give ketosis, the keto diet, a try. You know, cut out your carbs. Give it a couple days. You're still kind of in a glycolysis state. You're in semi glycolysis, semi keto. Your body doesn't really know which one to tap into. But, you know, try, give keto a try, and then you might feel pretty damn good. But other than that, which one's better? There's no better options. It, it's, it's all up to you and the benefits they could provide for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. <clears throat> I am Thomas the Aesthetic Train. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on the bell so you guys could support me and you know never miss some of my stuff. And I'm out. I'll see y'all next time.